The Joe Schmo Show. A show of deceit. A show of humiliation. And a show of the best acting I've ever seen. With actors like Riggedy Cricket, that girl from Ghostbusters, and this guy. And our main character, the most happy-go-lucky guy ever. In this show, Matt Kennedy Gold is told he's in a normal reality show where he competes in challenges and votes people off at the end of the day in hopes of winning the $10,000 grand prize. Only everyone else there is an actor, and they're only there to lie to him and trick him into embarrassing himself. And he fell for it. So we've all seen those reality shows where immediately every contestant is hooking up with each other and cheating on each other and doing that sort of shit. And uh, Matt has seen the same stuff. So the second he gets there, he starts looking for love. He immediately goes after the hottest one there. But of course, no one can allow that. So immediately they have to start breaking stuff up between them. She has to have a boyfriend and it just gets really awkward immediately. And this girl makes it even worse because she's playing a professional therapist. That's right. She's pretending that she went to school and got some sort of degree and knows what she's talking about. Now, she's acting like she's crazy. She has like puppets and shit, but um <laughs> but he likes her, right? He's attracted to her. So obviously he's going to give her the time of day and actually take what she says to heart. So <laughs> it's so funny. Even at one point she he, she uh she has a one-on-one -on -one with him and tries to give him real advice and he she he comes out of it saying like wow i think i feel better <laughs> and then she's like i think i think i helped him i think i really did <laughs> it's so funny dude oh my god they have him defending people right like he's some kind of hero imagine being stuck in a social experiment for like a month okay it will definitely get to you and we'll hurt your sanity, okay? And that's what happened to him. He almost fought Rickety Cricket multiple times because he was playing such an asshole. But after weeks of going through stuff like this, his sanity finally snaps. In one episode, he decides to do a master move that many other reality show contestants have done before, where they try to vote out someone that they just don't like, right? And of course he tries to vote off one of the girls that rejects him. Um, that's just how it goes, you know? I don't blame him for this, you know? But the producers make it backfire on him completely because he ends up voting off, like, one of his best friends there. And it really fucks him up, right? Like, more than they know. He he starts going off and crying in the corner, right? He he, he says it's not worth it. He doesn't even want the money anymore. He He's talking about quitting the show. And, <laughs> and then to the rescue, one of his other friends comes. Guess what? This guy ends up being like the producer of the whole show. So of course he's gonna go try to save the number one asset of the show, right? It's just so messed up watching this happen, you know? Even Riggedy Cricket's like on the other side of a wall, like this sucks, like this, this is not cool. And one of the best moments in the show comes at the very end when instead of having him win and then reveal it to him, they actually have him lose to the one asshole in the whole crew, <laughs> right? He's shocked, everyone else is shocked, and our main actor, Riggedy Cricket, right? He totally soaks it in and like laughs in his face. It's so bad, but so good at the same time. And after that, they quickly reveal the truth to him and he takes it about as well as someone can. <laughs> what is going on? But this show is just crazy. Like, you would not be able to do it today. Maybe you could, but you'd have to fake the whole thing. Matt Kennedy Gold probably went off to spend all the money and just return back to his normal life. He did not turn into a celebrity because of this. And no one even remembers him. But guess what? He's in my heart. And Matt, I remember you. For that reason, because of your golden heart, I give this show a 9 out of 10. Thank you and please subscribe or like.
or comment or something. All right, bye.